The Minister of Roads and Highways, Kwisi Amwakwata, says the payment of road tolls would be through electrical means when the e-levy is reintroduced in the year 2023, which is next year. So citing the fact that the toll booth would be used without human actions, the minister urged road users, road users to be prepared to invest more into tax payment to enable the construction of good rules in the country. He made this known as part of measures taken in by government to generate more revenue to finance the economy. In November 2021 announced the scrubbing of road toll collection on all major highways across the country, but made a U-turn a year after to reintroduce the collection of the toll, which is one of the revenue measures contained in the 2023 budget presented to Parliament. According to paragraph 462 of the 2023 budget presented before Parliament, there must be the reintroduction of tolls on specific public roads and highways with a new focus on leveraging technology in the collection to address the inefficiencies characterized by the previous toll collection regime. According to Mr. Mark Wata, a modern expressway with electronic tolling facilities will be built to aid in the collection of the tolls. He again stated that the collection of 50 pressures and one CD for tolls will no longer be effective, rather it will be increased. Meanwhile, the minority in parliament has pledged to give their support only if the revenue gotten will be used mainly for road maintenance. Now let's stay a little while on this particular story because I've been joined um, by a business news reporter apart from that business presenter in the person of Nana Kujo Opon. Nana Kujo, what do you make of this particular story? Because initially government made it clear that there's no, there's no more rotos collection and now there is going to be an introduction of road tolls again probably next year. What do you make uh, of it? Well, thank you very much, Kujo Champong. But first of all, I believe that the road toll coming is a good decision. Mm. It's not a bad decision. But scrapping it off and bringing it once again, uh, excuse me to say, it makes it look a little bit, it makes the government look a little bit indecisive. Wow. Because, you know, why should you take something off and bring it back? But uh, on a more serious note there, um, the reintroduction of the tool, I believe that it is something good because even from the minority aspect, you can see that this is actually something that they actually uh, actually believe in and they believe that this is something that is going to help them. It is going, not just them, but it's going to help revenue generation and mobilization. However, with the electronic aspect, there mm -hmm. are also some tidbits from there because even though it would help with the easy and better way of allocating funds and revenue for government, sure. it is also going to render other people unemployed. Into, yes, yes, <laughs> it's going to make people become You know, some people are also arguing the fact that government, they don't really understand government because mm -hmm. the roto was there, no one was complaining about it. Government, through his own means, scrapped it off and now bringing it again. Government is so indecisive, as you rightly said. I agree with you. Uh, well, yes, of course, about government not uh, being, uh, being indecisive. I believe that, you know, during the 2021 20, uh, budget statement, you could see that government was under serious pressure. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, civil societies were actually pulling governments, a lot of them, especially organizations like the Ghana, uh, Guta, I mean, Guta. And you could see that because of the 50% benchmark values, there was so much on government mm -hmm. that government had no other option than to find a means of trying to help them. And since they could not help in any other way, especially uh, from the transport sector who were also pulling governments with regards to fuel prices and the hike, I mean, you could see that they had no other option. So something to cushion both Guta and that of the transport union, that is where they brought the road, uh, the scrapping of the road tools. But basically, you could see that uh, they had to find another way of bringing about revenue mobilization. And that is what brought mm. about E-Levy, which did not stand. I know it hasn't yet materialized, but um, can you think about um, any possibility on how it's going to work electronically, how is it going to work, road tolls being effective electrically in Ghana here. Possibly, how do you think it's going to work? Uh, well, I think that 
you know, looking at our local uh, level of revenue generation, mm -hmm. it's not that easy, especially with respect to the fact that even with our normal Ghana card mm -hmm. registration, you can see how uh, the government is actually suffering yeah, yeah. to actually register people. So try, even with that, it's not done. And then you're trying to change road tolls to make it more electronic. Mm -hmm. Fine, it's good. But then uh, people would have to, that, this would require that would have to use card cards yeah. because with the normal uh, notes it may not work mm. and with cards you are asking drivers to also change their money um, I mean that liquidity into cards that would also require another form of uh, stress and you know it will create some kind of chaos it's a good initiative sure. but you know that process wouldn't be that easy I was very happy I, I want us to switch a bit I was very happy when you made mention of the fact that um, the SIM card re registration and it's a related development. You'll be doing a story about that. Of I course, don't want us of course, to of hit course. more into it. But so far, what do you make of it? Do you think um, government is succeeding? Are the CSOs succeeding? Are the individuals succeeding? Who is succeeding? Who is winning the fight? <laughs> you can see that uh, I think it's a good initiative. Uh, you know, government initiatives that are coming out are good. Yeah. However, you know, the system has to work. You have to bring out certain sustainable measures to ensure that in as much as you have a good initiative, the process for uh, ensuring that all these things come true are actually convenient for the normal people or mm. the local people mm. in the Ghanaian mm. society. If the systems are not convenient, if they become complicated, wow. it will be difficult for people to go through all that stuff. So I believe that it's the re-registration is a good initiative. However, uh, it's not helping government because it keeps pushing out, it keeps pushing the deadline. Mm. And that is actually affecting them because it would not make government meet the, that kind of deadline in order to get the statistics that they need it, it should, so that they'll be able to develop mm -hmm. or help the country in any other case. Wow, I don't want to take much from you, so okay. take over. It's all right, all right. Business.